right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox. And this week I'll be showing you how to generate these beautiful stylized clouds inside of Octane for Cinema 4D. Octane has some amazing volumetric stuff just straight out of the gate using the Octane tag. Uh, this is just some geometry, a volume builder, and an Octane tag. So if you're interested in this technique, let's get started. Okay, since this is basically about this volume technique using Octane, I'm not gonna go deep into um, a lighting setup. I really have a basic one. It's just an octane sky object with an HDRI plugged in there. Um, and then I'm using the geometry of my flat cloud three from the happy toolbox cloud pack you can find on our website. It just has all of these kind of stylized clouds that you can quickly pull, but it's really easy to just throw a bunch of spheres together um, and put them in a bool to kind of cut off the bottom if you want to do that. Um, also, you can throw pretty much anything inside of this setup once it's done. So if you want to put a full dinosaur in there, go ahead. Uh, you know, sky's the limit on this thing. Um, what I'm going to do first is we want to get voxels. So Octane understands we need to start rendering those. So right now I just have my geometry lit. What I want is a volume builder. So if I pull that in and then I stack my flat cloud three under that, I'm just going to close the sidebar here and I hit render, you can see there's nothing on the screen going on and I just have kind of this pixelated cloud right now. Um, what I wanna do from there is go to volume type on the volume builder, pop that down to fog, because we wanna start using kind of this fog effect um, that Octane will understand, and then change our voxel size down to like two. Um, so again, nothing in the viewport, if I click render, nothing's happening. But up here, you can kind of see we have way more of a dense object. Obviously, this depends on your computer, so incrementally step it down. Don't go crazy with this thing. Um, and then what I want to do to make it show up and have Octane actually start rendering this is putting a C4D Octane object tag on it. So when I do that, you'll see I get this kind of funky uh, gray ghost effect going on here. Um, and the way I fix that is in this tab called Particle Rendering. So enable voxel is already set the second you put a object tag on this thing. But down here where it says add volume medium, if I click that, immediately it adds kind of that volume depth information for Octane to start rendering uh, those voxels. Okay, so then inside of volume medium, I'm gonna go in there and under absorption, there's an RGB spectrum. It's kind of set to this gray color. So I'm gonna click on that and just pop it all the way up to white. So I already start getting some of these white highlights. I'm gonna go back up the stack, go down to scattering, and it looks pretty white, but let's just double check this pure white. There we go. So now we have that setting, and you'll see there's kind of these little uh, notches going on in our, in our cloud so far. So if you go back to the volume builder, what you can do is add a fog smooth piece in there. So if I click that, it basically stacks kind of a smoother on top of your geometry. So it immediately takes away those weird clipping issues you're getting. And then obviously we don't want this gray cloud look. So a lot of that has to do with your lighting, but it also has to do with your octane settings. So if I go to my octane settings, it's set to direct lighting. And this is kind of the octane uh, general setting it's always set to. So if you pop this down to path tracing, I immediately get a ton more options in terms of scattering depth, uh, ray epsilon, diffuse depths, all these things that um, basically can control the bounces that are going off inside of these volumetrics. Um, and you can see it turns into this beautiful white cloud. Um, so that should be good on your settings. Again, you get this really nice, beautiful looking puffy cloud. And you know, maybe this, maybe you're happy with this. You can go from here, add this to every other object. Again, if I just swap objects out in here, it's pretty much gonna change. You might have to mess with the density, but that's about it. But another really cool feature about this Octane tag, if I go back into the volume medium, there is a section for displacement. And there is a thing right at the top called OSL displacement. So if I click that, it throws this OSL texture uh, inside of the displacement. If I click on it, there's kind of all of these separate parameters going on. And I encourage you all to mess with this, but basically you can start seeing if I jack up the amount I get this really crazy blobby effect going on and it's basically a 3D kind of noise pattern happening. So you can see this noise pattern is really high. So if I start upping the frequency to like 10, 
now my noise is really tight and my amount is really extreme. So it basically changes the object into this crazy bubble effect. There are really a ton of cool ways you can use this uh, volume rendering inside of Octane. I'm gonna pop this down to about five and leave my frequency at 10. And this might look pretty extreme as it is right now, but with displacer and displacer frequency, um, you can kind of tone some of these things down. It basically can smooth um, this noise pattern down a little bit. So let's say I go up to one. Again, turns completely smooth because it's all the way at the top, but let's say I put it at like 0.1. Starts to kind of tone it down a little bit. And then in terms of displacement frequency, it's at about two. If I start stepping this up, you know, I can go all the way up here. Again, we'll reach a point where it gets completely too smooth. But let's say I put it back down to like five. I thought this was starting to look cool. Um, you know, maybe my frequency is a little too large. So I'm, maybe I'll put this down to eight. And again, um, that's pretty much it. This is This is a really cool looking fully volumetric object. You can basically take any geometry you want, set it up inside of this, uh, renders really quickly, um, and you can use some of these displacer effects to add a little extra noise to your object to make it look even more advanced. All right, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this amazing uh, effect inside of Octane. Again, this is really lightweight, it's really easy. Um, sometimes the volumetrics are really hard to navigate and get to look really right, and I think Octane does it really well in this instance. Um, let me know if you have any comments in the comment section below. If you like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would help us out a ton. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, including the Cloud Pack, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. All right, I'll see you next time.